seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Roy X. Coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved uh, on the Sons of Anarchy with a K server. And uh, kind of trying to think about what I want to do today. There's so much to do. And I'm kind of behind the other guys. Like, check this out. All I have, I've got, I've still got a regular bow and arrow. You know, I don't have any metal tools. Uh, I do have chitin armor, which was a gift from Wombat for screwing up my Dodic tape. <laughs> I guess he felt bad. But, but um, yeah, I've got to kind of decide where I'm going to go from here. So, I know one thing that I want to do. I want to get the foundations, at least the back foundations, laid for my base build so that I know... Uh, kind of the dimensions and everything where I'm gonna build and I can get ready for that the other thing is I don't know if I want to go like the whole metal route now if I want to go get uh, An Anki so that I can start getting a little more metal and start making metal tools and blah 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 But more than likely what I'm gonna do is go get a beaver Because it's kind of a pain in the butt like I don't have a lot of trees in here uh, So harvesting wood is kind of a thing and then you know the reduced weight that a beaver has would be awesome um, so I'm thinking that I might get Wombat to use his giant raft to help me go get a, uh, a beaver. So that is what I'm thinking is on the agenda for today. But sometimes Ark has other plans. We're just going to have to see what happens. If you end up liking this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you find it uh, the least bit informative or entertaining, let me know in the comments. And subscribe if you haven't already seen... Wait, no, wait, what am I saying? Words. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more content like this. So what I'm thinking, I've already made 20 pillars. No, 20 found a good God. What is wrong with me? 20 foundations. Okay. I made them. They're here. What I'm wanting to do I, is, is kind of center them in between this overhang, uh, this big ledge out there, which I'm thinking center is, and I'm, I'm terrible at finding centers <laughs> and making things straight, but I'm thinking the center is somewhere around these rocks right in through Chim. Maybe right in front of this big uh, this big rock right here. So what I need to do, let's see if I try and place. Oh, I can still place that. The thing is, there's no way. I'm, I know I'm not good enough to do this. Uh, we're going to lay it just like, okay. If that's the center, I want it off-centered. Bam. Let me get rid of these little stones right here before I can't do it. Where are you, Dodic? Let's clean this up just a wee bit, and then we'll see just how off-center I was. This is going to take... Okay, there we go. Yep, can't move. <laughs> that's, that's all right. I'll move my dodic in a minute. Let's see how off-center that is. Um, And is it facing parallel with the cliff? That's not terrible, right? Is that terrible? Oh, my God, wrong button. Is that terrible? I think I can work with that, right? From there, clear across there. I think that'll work. Okay, so what I do know is that I want this to be 16 foundations wide. I'm hoping, that's the reason that I came down the cliff so much, because I know that 16 foundations wouldn't have fit up there. So what I'm probably going to have to do is just gather a bunch of stone for a while on the Dodic. I don't want to waste it. You know, stone is a precious material right now. So I'll bring it back to base, store it up, clear all these rocks out, get my 16 foundations down, and then hopefully uh, <laughs> I have this halfway centered in a decent spot. We'll find out shortly, I guess. Okay, I don't think I did a terrible job uh, <laughs> centering this and, and getting it kind of going uh, parallel with the, the cliff edge. It could probably stand to go a little more to the right, but it's close enough for me. Uh, I was thinking this was... Okay, so 16 foundations didn't go quite as far as I thought they were going to. So I was saying this was going to be the back edge, but I'm thinking that's actually going to be the front edge now. I'm only going to go maybe like another five foundations that way. The reason I don't want to keep coming this way is that I can't get rid of this rock at all. You can't harvest it. It's here for good. So I don't want the front of my house to be butted right up against these rocks. So I think I'm going to build back this this way I am thinking that I can probably just tough it out and get some wood by hand for now until I can get a hold of wombat and maybe at least get the outer edges of the foundation laid so I can see exactly 
you know, the layout of everything. And that'll help me determine where I'm going to go from here. And then there's no way I'm going to be able to build all the walls that I want. You know, well, I guess I could, but I'm not going to grind that much. I'd rather have a beaver. <laughs> so then I'm definitely going to get a hold of Wombat. We'll see if we can't get us a beaver and uh, get this all put together. At least the foundation uh, and, and get this base started. So we'll be RB when we get this laid out. All right, so I got the outer border of my uh, base foundations laid. It doesn't look like anything impressive. I mean, it's not super huge right now, but uh, trust me, it's going to end up looking awesome. It's, it's been a grind without a beaver, and so I've been saying, oh, let's go for a high-level beaver. Uh, issue is, when I went to make the beaver saddle, I realized that I needed 100, uh, 100 freaking metal ingot. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and change my plans and go for an Anki so that we can get more metal. I'll go ahead and start the whole metal tools route, and um, then we'll have metal to build a beaver saddle whenever we uh, actually have, you know, we, when we can go get one. Which we're going to have to do soon because there's no way I'm going to keep grinding this, this wood by hand in here. So, I have talked to Wombat. He's going to help me go get an Anki. We're going to go see if we can find a pretty high level one anyways, and then uh, we'll cut in once we find something decent. Base is looking pretty fly, Wombat. That's coming right along, man. It, yeah, it's grown a lot since the last time I was over here. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally not what I'm talking about. Check out all these. Check out all these dinos, too. Dude, you've been putting in work. What the? You've got what like you 40 dillos. Yeah, I'm starting my kibble farm, man. Be a shame if one of these eggs turned up missing. Oh, bro. Two of these eggs turned out. I keep missing. a tight inventory. inventory. <laughs> what's an inventory? Uh -huh. yep. An inventory. Whatever yep. it is, you do it. Yeah, that's what I do. This I keep a is... pretty tight inventory. <laughs> <laughs> this place is massive, man. So, where are you at? You have to give me a uh, short tour. I was in tour. here um, kind of repairing some stuff. You want, you want, the, you want the grand tour? G give me the grand tour, bro. All right. Well, over here, this is a turtle. He's stuck. And, um, <laughs> I was noticing that. He can't move. It's a good I'm feature. A, I, I was going to tame it, but I think I'm just going to see how long it'll stay there. <laughs> yeah, until you move your boat would be my guess. No, that's that's on the that, that's not part of the boat. Let me shut. Wait, me you mean he's like if you pulled off, he's stuck in your boat. No, he's not even stuck in the boat, bro. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't tell where your boat ends and the dock begins. That's see, that's yep. a good sign. Yep. So, did, so I guess you figured out how to make this uh not this walkway not tear apart whenever you pull your boat yeah, off. I, I had to set a pillar here and a pillar on the other side, and that allowed me to get some more foundations. I actually need to set a few more ceilings, get it finished up. But, yeah, you come up here. There's going to be my workstation. I like and, it. And uh, I got all my tools. And um, then you come on around here. This Stairs. is where the ma magic's going to happen. Oh, this is the this magic is the, happening room. Yep. Yeah, and on top of this, I don't have a walkway to it yet, but there's a uh, third story that I've got hatch frames on for birds. I ah. figure it's high enough that they won't clip through the ceiling or like clip on trees and rocks and stuff like that when I'm driving around. So hopefully, right? Let me let me take my bird up. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in between your pillars. I messed up real yeah, bad. Don't do, oh no. Just, <laughs> okay, don't I'm do good. That. <laughs> you freaked out for no reason. I was calm. You were freaking out. I don't know. It got awkward. All right. I've been there before. <laughs> Let's see. So you got hatch. Oh, you. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing, oh, I missed. It's nothing perfect, but um, I, I guess I need to start getting some electricity and stuff like that going, but this game is so grindy. <laughs> it is, I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, well, this is awesome, man. Yeah, I hadn't seen it in a while. It's coming along real well. Yeah, it's but getting there. I need your help, man. I need you to help me go find a high-level Anki, because I'm lagging behind you guys. You got giant, awesome base that, like, attaches to a dock, and I'm still shooting a primitive bow and arrow. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And the only reason I have kite and armor is because you gave it to me because you messed you up my dodic team because you felt bad. You ever seen one of these? What is what is that sorcery? Yep. I ordered that out of the Cabela's catalog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a sale. <laughs> there was a sale, yep. <laughs> Got it on sale. <laughs> All right, well, um, I know that there's a lot of Ankies over at uh, T-Bunny's Island. Or... Are there? Oh, yeah, there are. Let's go check that out. I you forgot wanna, about that. You want to check over there? Yeah, let's right. do it. Let's take your boat, man. You, that's the only you way I'm gonna. Boat? <laughs> well, that's the only way I'm gonna get it back home. We can't pick it up with an RG or anything like that. All right, let me uh, let me offload little Dorothy. <laughs> All right, let's cruise around Hang and once we find here. one, I guess then uh, I'll cut back in. Sounds like a plan. 
We're sailing away. <laughs> hey, bro, check it out. Check it out. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, hold on. Okay, what's up? Look, look. We just caught a Pelagornis. <laughs> okay, now oh, I thought. No. Wait. Oh, he flew oh, away. I went through. That's why I started I... laughing at the start because he like <laughs> flew right in front of the camera. This is the most really ridiculous thing. Rede- what? <laughs> this is. And how much bigger is this gonna get? Quite a bit. <laughs> this is just beginning stages, huh? Yeah, this is just my whole starter base. I, li- <laughs> I like it, man. <laughs> I like it a lot. Especially you know, if you can catch Pelagornises in the uh, in the side. You'd have to be yep. really... I don't think you're good enough for that just yet. You it's did catch a turd. What's this? Yep. Whose turd is this? Who's pooping in your side thing? Did I catch a turd? It's just flopping around. I can't even see whose turd <laughs> it is. It's just a floppy turd. Anyways... This is, yeah, I had to cut in for a second because I couldn't believe it. Where? Oh, Where? He's, he's off to the right. You're not good enough. You couldn't do it if you wanted you to. You think anyway. I catch him? Nah. Oh. Actually, I think the edge of the map's out here. <laughs> what, uh, what, your boat doesn't have a good turning radius or something? Oh, this is getting crazy. Can you do it? <laughs> All the pressure's on you. He's outrunning you. <laughs> All the pressure in the world, man. Uh... I think what you would have to do is once he clips inside of your stuff, you have to stop the boat. Like, uh, you know oh, what I mean? he just clipped through it. Yeah. Because yeah. he just clipped right through it. <sighs> Told you you couldn't do it. What a loser. Okay, well, there's the island. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get over there and see if we can find an Anki. All right. Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot uh, T-Bunny built this swag dock. She did. I don't think it's going to fit. <laughs> it doesn't. I mean... It looks like a big dock, but your boat is slightly larger. We'll Maybe... just pull right up here. <laughs> Swallow the yes. entire dock. Dude, this thing is Perfect. pretty awesome, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Let's did see I do if I it can good? Even... Yeah, I was yeah, able I did, to get off. Okay. So, I mean, that perfect. works. That does work. That's pretty awesome. She built this dock, is really, really cool. And I think Actually, she... it is. I'm ruining it a little bit. Let me. I feel like oh, I'm, I'm like legit stuck. Oh, this <laughs> that's where I was just stuck. If okay. you freak Let- out enough and yell at the top of your lungs, it usually <laughs> usually frees you up. Let me back out so you, so you can, give, so you can give, give the people the actual view of what, how awesome <laughs> this dock is. I think she's still working on it, but I know that she was planning on putting a video up on on uh, on building it. But like, uh, How cool is this? I know, it really is awesome. And she's got these little shacks over here. Oh, uh, uh, I thought I jumped right in the water. <laughs> I did. Nope. Oh, this nope. is awesome. What is this? Lockers? It's your lockers, bro. Here's Scuba you... <laughs> rentals? <laughs> it's what? where you rent your fins and stuff. And then somewhere she's got to build something where you can get a henna tattoo. Because I think that's <laughs> that's usually a thing. But yep, uh, meat. Uh-huh. Yep. But it's pretty I'm gonna awesome. I'm going to get a tramp stamp. <laughs> that does not surprise me even a little bit. What? What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what level is this guy? 60? That's not terrible. I guess, Wanna? um... Nah, let's look around for a little bit. I mean, we're on an island full of herbivores, so we could take our time. Look okay. around and see what we find. Floating grass. Do you see also, that? Also, uh, no. If we happen to stumble up... Oh, I do see it now. What? It's amazing. Magic. She lives on an <laughs> island full of magic. <laughs> if we see a high-level, um, pterodon, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Excuse you. Bless you. Oh, sorry. 36... Okay, we must bid adieu to T-Bunny's Island. The highest one I saw was level 60. And, uh, I mean, that's decent, but I'd rather just get a much higher level one. Oh! <laughs> Watch <laughs> the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather get a much higher level one because I'm going to have to travel a little ways on it. Uh, there's no metal around me where I chose to build. It's a cool place, but there's no metal around there, at least that I know of. I have to at least, oh, shark! I have to at least cross one river, go up a big hill. So we're going to cruise around the beaches for a while, and maybe we can find something higher. If not, then we'll probably just come back here. We're back! Hello! <laughs> Dead gum went all around the map. The closest thing we saw was a level 56. Uh, but I did swing by and get trike the trike, because I do need a berry gatherer back at the base. See, let me show you how you're supposed to park this, bro. It's like you don't even know. Mm-hmm. Just perfectly right up along the edge like... Dude, if you need boat lessons, man, I mean, I'd be glad to glad to help you out. See, look at this. Oh, then yeah? You just, then you just hop right off. You're on the dock. No space. Okay, there's a little space. 
<laughs> I lied. So we're going to go ahead and get this level 60. I mean, Wombat was like, oh, hey, bro, I'll just give you a 100 metal ingot. And I was like, what? I said, what's my name say? And he was like, oh, yes, Neil, your name says Wacky X. I said, that's right. It's not Guild Will, son. I don't need your handouts. And I so feel then like he, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> so then, then you handed me 100 metal. Remember that? And I took it and threw it on the ground. I remember don't remember that? that happening now. And then and then I defecated on it. I was like, I don't need your metal because I'm gonna tame me and Anki right now. That yeah, you're making stuff up nope. at this point. That's you're, exactly you're how lying it happened, to bro. People. <laughs> and you were like, oh, I'm so sad because Rocky's being mean to me. Uh, it's like, yeah, huh. go tattle to someone who cares. So this uh, should be huh? the level six. I need your help, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was making jokes about still having a primitive bow, but I actually really like this. Like maybe I should have done. Good God, I'm zoomed out for. Maybe I should have done Primitive Plus, or maybe that's in the future. Because I'm kind of just feeling like the Primitive stuff. So I'm going to keep using this for as long as I can get away that's with it. That's just what poor people say. <laughs> yeah, no, I can afford one. I just didn't really <laughs> want to get one. Go, don't, don't tear up T-Bunny's house. She'll be oh, so angry. she's going to be so <laughs> mad at you. Uh-oh. No, bro, why are you doing that? That house is doing nothing to you. <laughs> Get rid of those names. Oh god, I got rid of my. I ain't scared. I ain't a scurp. You look a little scared. Why are you running away then? This thing looks like a pincushion. <laughs> a little bit, all over the Good place. Lord. Where you going, bro? Got Where you slight. going, bro? Go night night. He's out. That wasn't too bad at all. Yeah. All right, so here's what I want to do, because you usually get pretty lucky at getting those food boosts. Yeah, I am pretty good at that. <laughs> Let me see what kind of boost we got here using ye old dodo deck. So, let's see. He is level... 60. 60. You want me to just read you the stats? Yeah, one second. One second here. Level 60. Plug it in ye old app. Okay. And where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> Levels. Okay, what's his stats? All right. Health is 1680. 16.8. Oh, good lord. Hold on. 16.80. Okay. Stamina is 3.15. 3.15. Okay. Oxygen is 3.15. That doesn't sound good. Okay. <laughs> Food is 5.100. 51. Oh, my goodness. That doesn't sound good either. Okay. Weight is, weight is 2.85. 2.85. That doesn't sound real promising. His, okay. His, his melee is <laughs> 125. <laughs> melee. Okay. Yep. All right. Melee. That's what I call it now. All right. So there's good news. He only has 14 wasted points. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> but the other 11 points, um, they're in oxygen. So that's average. Oh, that's right? a solid team, bro. So, solid team. I got me one of those uh, much revered wasted point oxygen teams. So sweet. <laughs> I guess it'll be it'll be it'll be good for now. He's got average weight, according to this. So let me throw some. I know that Torpor is not going to be an issue. I've got one Miho. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe. No, I got 68 Azelberries. So oh, that should be go. right. So we'll just hang out for a while until he gets tamed up, and we'll bring you back in in a minute. Hi. Fast as lightning. Ba -ba 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 -ba. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. <laughs> <laughs> to see them fast as lightning. <laughs> Damn. Yup, yeah, that just happened, bro. Put that little that little little jazz on the end of it there. <laughs> hey, yep. <laughs> you think I'm an average hoe? You think I'm basic? <laughs> you ain't basic, bro. <laughs> hey yo! Alright. Tamed up. So mm. Um, even though he's got great wasted and oxygen points, <laughs> I'm going to go on and just name him below average Joe. Wow. Pretty, that's going to hurt his feelings. No, he doesn't know. He's a stupid ankle. Do you, buddy? See, he doesn't even realize. Ah, what a dummy. What are you doing over uh -oh. here, bro? Bro. What's hey, yeah? Smart to distract. Like, lay down. Okay. You can see through the ground. What are you talking about? I don't Do see through the ground. Are you in K mode? No. No, in regular mode. The trees have roots. No, bro. I don't you see don't through see no, no ground, bro. 
I think you ate too many mushrooms, man. Oh, dadgummit. <laughs> Those will get you. Okay. I've been trying so. to poop on you for like 30 seconds. Oh, is that what you were trying to... Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Wow. <laughs> that kind of hurts my feelings, man. <laughs> chicky, Dang chicky. It. All right, so let's see what he ended up with. 2,600 health. That's not terrible. 367 stamina. That's pretty bad. 295 weight. I think my Pteranodon had more than that when I tamed it. <laughs> and 199 melee. Good Lord. Well, I guess he'll he'll work for now. Wait, I was saying he. Are you a he or a she? You're a male. Okay, below average Joe works then. All right. Well, let's load him back on the back up on the boat. And, okay, I'm going uh, to jet out, bro. I'll see you later. Hey, well, no, I need you. <laughs> 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 Definitely going to need that boat. <laughs> All right, well, let's load, let's load him up on the boat, bring him back to the base, and then now I can get metal. I'm going to be on you guys' level. Not even close. <laughs> Those fools were fast as lightning. <laughs> Take this! Oh, God! How did I end up in your house? I was going to say, did you just open the door? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of impressive. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of trying to poop in midair on because I thought that, that maybe the I thought maybe the thing would bring it towards you. Plus sign. Do I not got to poop? Plus sign. Is that, am I hitting the right one? Plus sign. That's what I was. Oh thinking. God! I whistled something. Uh oh. <laughs> no, that's what I hit. Like uh, plus sign, and it says, "Oh, I pooped now." <laughs> oh. Dang it. I mean, you have to kind of admit it was impressive the way I flew through your door. That was pretty impressive. Don't tell T-Bunny, because I want to do that to her. Oh, you're going to try and trick her? Okay. Yep. Don't tell her. T-Bunny. <laughs> this dude's got a fascination with pooping on people, bro. All right, so we're back at base with below average Joe. And, uh, problem already. <laughs> One thing I did not realize. Get him back, and I go to make him a saddle, and lo and behold... <sighs> you need metal ingot to make an ankylo saddle. So, let me show you guys the problem that I'm running into. And that is that, well, there's no metal over here. Like, whatsoever. I know you can get random bits of metal from, from uh, you know, just random rocks. But that's not what I'm trying to do. So, what I have to do is go way the crap over here. Which is where, uh, I always call it Bug Hill. Uh, but right up there where that, that the tallest tree is, whenever we built our very first uh, place on, on the Ark over a year ago on Xbox, we built right over here. And this place on Xbox at the time was like crawling with bugs. It was like glitch. There was like hundreds of bugs. You couldn't come up here without dying until we got like flak armor. But this is the closest place I know of to where I built to get freaking metal. So what I think I'm going to have to do, let me go ahead and gather up a little bit if I can right now. But oh, of course there's a raptor. Maybe he won't see me if I come down over here. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is build like, I know he's going to just show up and wreck. And I'm going to hit this once or twice. And my pickaxe is going to break. But what we're going to have to do is build like a little metal, not a metal, a uh, little stone structure over here to keep my ankylo in so that I can either fly metal back and forth, which I don't think is going to work. Are you going to be encumbered? No. Okay, we can do that. Um, so that I can either fly metal back and forth, which I don't want to do, or I'm probably just going to build forges and stuff in that stone structure over here uh, and just use that as a place to uh, forge and, and everything to get the ingots uh, with the ankylo. So... I'm going to have to get on some kind of plan of action with that real quick. See if I can't get something built for him. And once I... God, this is going to be the longest trip in the world to get over there. Once I get that done, we'll cut back in. All right. Check it out, guys. So... Uh-oh. <laughs> I forgot that I disabled harvesting uh, to get him over here for all the fights that we were going to get into. Which we didn't get in too many. But check it out. So now, right here by the metal, ton of crystal up there, too. Uh, he's not gonna move, he's in coverage. But, I, you can use my Anki. Throw this, I'm not gonna be able to carry that. Throw this on my inventory until I get his weight up. Carry it in here. Made a little forge room on top of it. So, I can just throw these bad boys in there, turn it on, got it crafting up, and just gather to my little heart's content. So, you know, it's primitive. It's uh, just a little box, but uh, it works for keeping the Anki safe. And, uh... Then keeping me safe while I'm forging. So, 
There's a ton of metal up there. There's a ton of crystal up there. That's just the closest that was to me. So I'm really surprised that we got him over here in one piece. But we did. There was one little scare with a Therizinosaur, but I managed to kind of weave in, in and out of trees and, <laughs> and keep him safe. So hopefully the next time you guys see me, I will have put in quite a bit of work, which I will. And I'll have some metal tools and whatnot going. So I'll be, <laughs> I'll be caught up. You know, here we are, episode what? four and i'm just working on metal tools i've got my priorities i'm telling you i always my my way my strategy is i try to establish a safe base first and then i worry about everything else so now i gotta get all the metal tools and i was talking earlier about um you know using the bow instead of crossbow and all that kind of stuff so i think what i'm gonna do i don't know why i'm just crossbowed out i'm gonna start using the compound bow and i haven't used that like at all hardly while i've been playing arc this entire freaking time so I'm going to use the compound bow this season and just see how that goes. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, oh, I was hoping to land on top of them. If you, I'll, I'll stand up here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If there's anything I should have done differently, uh, which I'm sure there was, you know, <laughs> or if you guys know where there was metal closer to me, leave it in the comments. Uh, and uh, just because I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear from you guys. Heart to heart. Leave me some comments. Love it. I'd love to answer you guys. Anyways, so until we meet again. Hold up. How am I going to get home? I didn't have my bird follow me or anything. I'm going to have to walk that entire way. I can't even see my house from here. Oh, man, this is going to be a thing. Well, hopefully I'm not naked at the start of... If I'm naked at the start of next episode, you know what happened. Let's start the long trek.